hello, 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 or hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 everybody. It's an impromptu uh, live stream today because y'all like the live streams better than the recorded videos, but you know, I have to uh, kind of uh, go with what I have time for these days. And it seems like I'm always apologizing, so I'm going to stop doing that. So welcome to the channel if you're new to Liz for a day. And we are doing all junk journal related videos here right now. We are making ephemera, making books, chit chatting. And yes, this is probably going to be a chit chatty video, so get ready for it. <laughs> but I'm going to be making some vintage postcards and I thought I would take you all along with me and then you can make some vintage type of postcards yourself. And uh, with the disclaimer, of course, that this is not a tutorial. <laughs> Usually if I do a tutorial, I don't chit chat as much and it's a, a much faster video. So y'all just keep that in mind, but it's still a lot of fun to come on and chat. So I invite you to chat here uh, over on the side and also the chat will be up on the screen in a few minutes as well. So you can see what everybody else is saying. And you can join us over at Junk Journal Buddies on Facebook if you're inclined to do so. And you can chit chat with us over there as well and show some of the things that you make also. And let me not forget to just remind you to give this video a thumbs up. You can go ahead and do that now because you know you're going to forget later and you know you're going to like the video. So <laughs> just go ahead and hit the thumbs up now. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already hit the notification button so that you'll know when more videos like this come out and when you do hit the notification button make sure you hit all notifications because trust me YouTube is a little wishy-washy unless you select that <laughs> all right so I might be looking away from the camera and that's because I'm looking at my computer screen which is right behind the camera so I can I can chat with everybody that comes on Hey, Penny Pen, how are you doing, darlings? I'm glad you're here. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> glad to have you. So I'm going to show you all what we are going to be making today. Y'all, I have a whole bunch of new stuff set up on my screen right now. So I'm just saying, there's no telling how things are going to work out. But I think the quality of the video is going to be better now because I'm using some different software. So now here we go so you can see uh, penny is is in our chat right now <laughs> all right so uh, these are some postcards i was just sitting here and i said let me see if i can make some postcards i've been wanting to do this for a while you can use your scrap papers to do this as well or just anything that's laying around because that's that's what I plan on doing, just use, using a few scraps. So this is the front of the cards, and they look pretty vintagey, huh? Y'all, this is just a picture out of a book. And uh, then I used a stamp on the back. And let me make sure we got our uh, focus is a little, oops, a little off here. Hey, where's my focus button at? Oh, I lost it. <laughs> I lost my focus button. I want to leave the focus on, but if I do, it's going to keep going like in and out. See how it's doing? Like it's, it's just out of control, just out of control. But so I just used the post postcard stamp that I have on here. And this actually looks like a postcard, doesn't it? And then I did some writing right there. I'll tell you all what it says later because you probably can't read it. <laughs> all right. So the first thing that I did and I'm going to do is I got this. This book is so big it won't even fit all the way in the camera. See, look at that. It's a humongous um, botanical book. It's an old book and it's from 1969. And this was one of the first books that I picked up when I started doing junk journaling because I didn't know any better. And it actually has more black and white pictures in it than anything else. So I kind of been struggling to figure out how... I wanted to use it so I'm just gonna be on for a little while today y'all let me see what the book actually looks like look at the book though that's amazing you know you can use these um, book covers 
and you can uh, kind of build them out junk journal style and use them as photo albums too so that's that's kind of quite wonderful quite wonderful embossing on there this is the first time I even looked at it so we both seeing it at the same time <laughs> and and this part was colorful but y'all the inside there's only a few colored pages in here and the rest you can see are all black and white and something else about this book too which is kind of funky I know it was done in 1965 so photography probably wasn't that great back then but the pictures all look like they're like really blown out and they they weren't resized properly or something I don't know but anywho I decided to try to use some of the black and white pictures and um try to put some things in perspective I don't know yeah, I don't know. Let's just see what we can do with some of this stuff. Because you see, the pictures are so big. Like, to put them on postcards, it's like you have to try to figure out which pieces of the page to use. So, again, I don't know. So, let's just see if we can find some pictures because I didn't do that ahead of time. Yeah, the cover is pretty nice, isn't it, Penny? Okay, let's see. We'll use this one. And... I could tell this has like some sewn in signature, so I'm gonna try to without tearing this up too bad. Let's see. Um, let's use the X-Acto knife and see if we can. And let me put my old lady glasses on also so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> that might help out a whole lot. And I'll try to painstakingly kind of take this the pages out so they won't get ripped up too bad because sometimes when you think you're not ripping the page up all of a sudden you're gonna rip the page in half when you're taking them out so I'm gonna try to uh gingerly take this out because I don't know about you all but I'm not in a rush <laughs> are you in a rush I do have something I need to do after I get off but you know it'll be all right I have a little bit of time to spare so I hope y'all have time to spare because y'all need to get away from the TV. You know, at the time of this, we are still waiting on the election results. So y'all just need to get away from the TV. Quit biting your nails. It ain't that serious. Well, it is that serious, but don't bite your nails anyway because, you know, nails are quite dirty. <laughs> I remember when I was a, a kid and, you know, I have a story for everything. When I was a kid, my aunt, my great, great, great aunt, she took me to uh, Disney World. I didn't live in Florida then, <laughs> but she brought, she, we, we talked, we caught a trailer down here. My uncle and his kids and his, um, and my aunt and, and my old aunt that I live with, we came down here to Disney World. And when we were driving, um, I sat in the front seat with my aunt while she was driving and everybody was in the back sleeping and I've always had like long nails like right now they're not that long but they're growing and she asked me she said she said your nails are always so nice mind you I'm like 12 or 13 years old she said your nails are always so nice she said when did you stop biting your nails and I was just really perplexed when she asked me that because I was like, I'm, I never bit my nails before. So I like I didn't even know why she asked me. I was like, I never bit my nails. Never. Now, I suck my thumb, though. I'm going to have to admit to that one. Or until I was grown. But I never bit my nails. But I don't, um, I don't suck my thumb anymore. Okay. All right. Y'all, this is pretty, but I think it, the image is too big for what we want to do so I'm just going to leave that be I'm just going to take a few more things out and just try to figure out how we can use some of these pages I know one thing I could do with it is make envelopes because I've been on the envelope kick and I like book page envelopes because you can embellish those too but that's for another video okay all right so let's take this one too all right we got a few we can always go back in and get more if we want to so let's get this out of the way. Oh, let me take this off the screen too, cause you know, we don't need everything up here. Oops. 
I didn't mean to take us all the way all off the screen. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So the next thing that we're, and I put links to what I think we're going to be using. I put links in the description. So if you're looking for any of this stuff, I tried to find like comparable stuff. Sometimes I can't find exactly what I'm using, but for the most part, I think I found everything. But I'm going to be using some index cards and I believe these are, I believe these are four by six. So let's just take a peek. Yep, four by six index cards. And they're not the best index cards, but once I put them on the paper, yeah, they'll be pretty sturdy. They're pretty sturdy. So y'all, this is y'all, this is a super easy project that anybody could do. And and believe it or not, I want to say I'm not doing any sewing, but I think I might do a tidbit of sewing, but I don't know. We'll see, because that's just how I am. I'd like to have just just a, sm a smidge of sewing would make me happy, okay? Okay, so I want to use this picture right here for my postcard. So I'm just going to try to see where I'm going to need to kind of uh, glue this down. So let me get my scissors and to make this a little bit easier for myself. Let me cut this. This is weird cut. If I was left-handed, this would this cutting on this side of the paper would be a little bit easier. So I'm just trying to help myself in a way to figure out where I want to glue these at. I also tried to put the hold on, let me move this over a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> I tried to put the mic a little bit closer because I listened to the last video that I did and yeah, it, it was hard to hear me because I, I mumble a lot when I'm doing stuff like this. All right, so I ain't going to take too much time, but this, so I'm going to actually glue like the, this part down, um, the blank part down. I could use the blank part or the lines and I want the lines to be up because I want this to be a spot where I, I can journal and have the lines so you could do it any kind of way you like to do it and I'm going to use this whole card and I'm just making sure to get the edges as well I y'all know how I feel about the edges you have to give your edges some love it's all about the love oops and then I'm going to put this Kind of close to my edge. I'm kind of winging it because y'all know how I am. I'm a winger kind of girl. I'm going to get a uh, wet wipe out too. I found my wet wipes, by the way. They were on my kitchen table. The ones I was looking for. All right. Because I have some glue over the edge here. So I'm just going to wipe this off. You can't wipe it too much because, y'all, these are cheapo Depot index cards. And the wetness just from this will make this bleed. You can see the bottom of this started to bleed. But that's okay. We're okay with that. So now I'm just going to cut around this card. you have to concentrate. Shh. She can't talk. She can't talk while she's doing this. Hey, Rachel. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Point if you know who says that. <laughs> I know who says that. Um, oh, it is a rerun. Am I right? Is that who you're talking about? Or, or are you talking about Fat Albert? Because I know. Or was I not supposed to say anything? <laughs> rerun on what's happening now you have to be a certain age to know what what's happening is and oh also fat albert too you kind of got to know who that is <laughs> yes rerun okay see i got it yay i was talking to my mom this morning and I, I, I was telling her about the V8 and stuff. And 
She says, man, you be showing your age. <laughs> okay, so that's our first uh, postcard kind of here. You love both the shows? Me too. All those 70s shows are pretty cool. But I'm going to tell you, I did not like Good Times. For one reason, I mean, I like Good Times, but I didn't, I didn't like the premise of Good Times because... Like, they could not get out of the ghetto for nothing. They were, like, poor, and they just... Yeah, I'm going to do some more stuff to that card. I just set it aside for the moment. But um, they couldn't get out the ghetto, and I, that kind of bothered me a lot about good times. That Something bad was always happening to them to kind of keep them down. It was terrible. All right, so let's do a few more of these cards. So I'm happy you all are with me. And we're going we're going way back on the um, TV shows because you know seventies TV shows was the bomb. That was the golden age of TV, child. Okay, I'm gonna put this one up here, and this time I'm just gonna wipe this instead of using the wet wipes because I'm just gonna have glue all over my hands. It'll dry in a few seconds. We'll see how this one's going to come out. Let's cut around this. Yeah, the good shows. <laughs> Clutch the pearls. That would be from In Living Color. You can do what you want to do. Actually, I think they were the 90s. <laughs> In Living Color. Oh, no. Actually, it was the 80s. Living Color was the 80s. I know that because my daughter was born at that, well, she wasn't born at that time, but she was a baby at that time when Living Color was out because she used to try to dance like the Fly Girls. Child. I should, I wish I would have recorded that because you know, she was all over the place. Trying to dance with the Fly Girls. That's when you was a real couch potato. I probably was a real couch potato, too. I didn't do nothing. I always kind of did some kind of little craft. I was trying to find my way when it came to crafting stuff. So I would buy stuff and then use it a little bit and I'd be done. <laughs> okay, so that looks good. So let's put that one aside. Now, let's see. Can we get any more out of here that I could really, that I know what it is? Not really, but I'm going to use another one. Shoes. Now, in my mind, I'm like, okay, this is all the index cards that I have, and I'm like, I don't want to use all of them. That is like the dumbest thing, isn't it? <sighs> Need to use my stuff. <laughs> That's so dumb. Like, the index cards are so cheap. Why would I be trying to save an index card? I don't know. Used to love TV so much. <laughs> Girl. Me too. Expect, and you know what? And then we only had, you know what? It was, it wasn't that I love TV so much and probably the same for you. It's that you only had limited uh, shows. You only had limited time when certain shows came on and they were available. And so you would want to go and watch them. You know, that was like an advertiser's paradise because they had a uh, pretty much locked in audience. For a certain amount of time and you knew like prime time was like between like 7 p.m. and 10 that was it for us because I was a central time then and so you were kind of locked in at that time and if the Christmas cartoons was coming on you knew what time they were coming on they, were, you, they weren't going to be showing all day or all year and if you missed it you missed it and you had to wait till next year so I think that's kind of what it was about watching tv i remember i would watch certain things like of course i talked about it before and uh like we would watch um american bandstand on saturdays where i lived at they came on it came on like at eleven thirty in the morning and then after bands well saturday was the tv day for sure because you would get up in the morning and even if you didn't want to, because that's when Saturday morning cartoons came on, they were only on for like three hours. 
And then after Saturday morning cartoons, then American Bandstand would be on at 1130. By then, we would be all dressed and everything. And we would watch American Bandstand. Then we would go outside and play for a while. Because we had to be back inside at 4 o'clock for, you guessed it, Soul Train. <laughs> all right, so there's another one. Another one of our postcards there. I'm going to do a few more of those. And even though this is kind of blah, I'm going to keep this. Maybe make like a tag or something later. Okay, but I'm, this is not tag. This is not a tag video, okay? Yeah, Saturday morning cartoons were great. Wonder Twin Powers activate shape of an elephant. <laughs> Y'all remember the Wonder Twins? Captain Caveman? All that, yeah. Hey, Josie, <laughs> y'all need to make the stuff on my screen bigger. I can't see nothing. I'm like struggling. Y'all have on bifocals too, so when I'm looking at the screen, usually I'm looking like this, but it doesn't help me for the uh, screen. So I don't know why. Like I can read better without my glasses, but I can cut better with my glasses. So it's like a double-edged sword. These glasses. Don't get old, man. Don't let your eyeballs get old. Y'all remember the first time y'all went and got glasses? The first time I went to get eyeglasses was with uh, my brother who is working in Afghanistan right now. And, okay, I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. And so I decided to get my eyes checked too. And sure enough, I needed glasses too. Child, when I got my glasses, I was... I was kind of shocked and awed. I was like, I can't believe I haven't had any glasses. I could see so good once I got glasses. I was, I couldn't believe I had went that long without getting glasses. I know I needed them. I think a lot of people are like that. But now my eyes are just getting worse. I don't know why, but they're getting worse. Yeah, kids don't know what they're missing out on. Cause that's why they feel so entitled because they have all these channels. They got a Disney Channel, Nickelodeon. That was my kids. You know, we they they, they were the cable kids. And they had all this stuff. And now, you know, they got everything to watch their cartoons on. To Let's not forget, you know, DVDs and stuff like that, too. I don't feel like this is down. I don't feel like I got the edges good on this. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have to take my glasses off to read the screen. I don't have to, but it's better. Because I don't need my glasses to watch TV and stuff like that. But for reading like this, if it's too small. And now, I swear they make all the writing on bottles, the ingredients and stuff. They got to be making that stuff smaller. For a while, I was just thinking I was just doing that old person thing where, dang, they're making stuff smaller. But I really think they're making, like, ingredients and stuff smaller so we can't read it. Yeah, TV has come a long way. A long way. And it's probably to the detriment of us all. <laughs> hey, bevies. We got a lot of crafty people on today. How y'all doing today? I don't even think I asked. Okay, I like that one. I like that one. Y'all, yeah, see, once I put the, um, I did a little one on this one. I meant to do big, but you know, whatever. You can't mess up uh, a junk journal craft, can you? See, it's nice and sturdy now with that. All right, let's do another one. I want to do the trees over here on this side. So we're going to do a big one. Y'all, you could actually mail these to somebody. I, I did like a kind of um, some mixed media and I made I made some postcards mixed media style. We did it. I did it with you guys. This was a while ago. And I actually mailed them out to some of my friends. They loved them. You could do something like this too. And mail it out. They're very functional, depending on how you make it, of course. 
Because if you start stacking stuff on top of it, it's going to be a whole different talk show. Let's put this on here. Here. I feel like I missed something. But I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Yeah, I was driving down the road yesterday. It was dark outside. And... I meant to look it up. Rachel, you can tell me if you know. Did they did they shoot off a rocket last night? Because I know I didn't see a UFO. I ain't even going there. <laughs> but I did see like a rocket go up. And it was coming from Cape Canaveral side. So, But I don't remember seeing anything. But I don't watch the news either. I didn't see anything about a rocket going up. It was kind of cool. You could see the fire behind it and everything. But I don't know if it was a rocket rocket. It had to be. It had to be a rocket because the sky was clear and it had, like I said, it had the fire behind it. Oh, they did. They did um, shoot something off. See, I don't even watch the news. Why, thank you. See, I had to get my news from Rachel. <laughs> I get my news from my friends. I used y'all used to have a boyfriend. He would watch the news all day long, and my mom watches the news, and my brother watches it. So I don't watch the news because I know they're going to tell me the news. So I let them watch it, and so now I got Rachel too. So Rachel, you can watch the news for me. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do a few more of these. Oh, you have it on mute. Now I have been I, I, on YouTube. I've been watching the election results, but you know, which is like no results yet, but we're getting there. I kind of just wanted just to be all over with, right? Because, you know, we just want to get on with our lives. So let's see where we're going to put our post our, our, um, our card at this time. I'm going to try to put it like somewhere around here. So let's do this. I'm just going to put like a little cut or something here so I'll know on the other side kind of where to put my card at I'm tricking myself and I know you all are probably wondering why are you doing with the lines there because I want it to be so I can write on it okay and I have the lines because y'all I'm a messy writer so it's good to have some kind of guidelines Otherwise, I'll be writing all over the place. I, it'll be a little wacky. Let's just put it like that. So I'm mitigating my wackiness by having some lines. Even though they look kind of new, but we're going to fix that. All right, that's going to be the last one that I do for now. Uh-oh. Oh, it's over here on the side. I lost it. And I am trying to make sure it's kind of like straight this way in line with everything, too. All right, making sure that's down good. All right, let me just close this glue up. And let's cut, cut, cut. Y'all, this paper this from this book is really actually fantastic paper, too. Y'all can see how big the pages are. It's just ginormous. That kind of makes it fun to work with, too. For sure. All right. So, I think I got this um, book from uh, Vincent St. Paul. We have one near where I live at. That's when they first opened up. They had some good stuff. Now, the stuff in there sucks. I always hear about people finding good stuff in Vincent St. Paul's. Our Vincent St. Paul sucks. It was okay in the beginning. And now, once they got organized, it, it just, I don't know. I just had, a, I, had I just didn't want to um, <laughs> pay extra 25 cents for anything. Because I'm cheapo depot like that. So here are some of the cards that we got so far. So now, 
you could leave them like this and they still would look uh, quite wonderful in your books. But I'm going to, I need some paper. Hold up, y'all. I'm going to kind of distress this. So I did take out my Tim Holtz uh, Distressed Ink and my little blending brush here. And let's see if we can kind of blend this so it kind of looks like it's... Oh, you know what else I want to do before I do that, though? I just got out like a fingernail uh, emery board. I should have got my, um, what you call it, some sanding paper out. I got some sanding paper in here someplace, but... I would have to go to the garage because I don't know what I did with my sanding paper. I'm just trying to rough it up a little bit on the edges. The emery board does the job. So if you got an emery board that you're not using, I know it's hard for you to see it, but I can see where it's kind of roughed up on the edges. And I did do, I did this one. I roughed up the edges, but it's hard to see. Let me see if I bring it up here. Let's try to focus, because y'all know my focus is crazy. See, I have to manually focus. That makes me mad. Let me take my glasses off so I can make sure I'm focused. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but I did go over the edge. I didn't really, like, go crazy with it, but it's just, just lightly sanded on the edges so we'll see how uh, that works out all right so I did the same thing with this I'm doing like a light sanding so what y'all working on what y'all working on y'all making some postcards too I know uh, Rachel just put up some videos, so you have to go to her channel at Scrap Craftastic. That's who Rachel is, Scrap Craftastic. You have to go check her channel out too. Penny, have you been putting up any videos over on your channel? I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know if I want to take take the time to uh, do this for too long. <laughs> Plus, I don't like the sound of sandpaper. But I do like the way the edge looks, though. It has a softer edge when you do it this way. I'm not going to do that side, though, because I'm lazy. I only want, probably the sandpaper would do, the, do, do this faster. Oh, Facebook Lives. You're just doing the Facebook Lives. Because Penny has a Facebook group, too. It's Junk Journal with Penny. So you all have to check out her group, too. A lot of people that are in Junk Journal Buddies, which is our group, is also, which is, it's actually like me and Penny's group. And then Penny has her own group. Because <laughs> Penny helped me start Junk Journal Buddies. And then she flew off like a little birdie, and she made her own group which is cool and that's a uh, junk journal with penny so y'all can check hers out too no youtube yet that's okay we'll just hang with you over on facebook all right i like the way that looks okay i have a few more of these to do but y'all it's gonna take me too long ain't nobody got time for that so y'all know the look we're going for okay so now I'm just gonna take the brush hey Christine how are you doing today it's time for singing Lizzie also when you do this it'll catch the uh, distressed ink better too so Penny is doing the mixed media mashups on Monday so you'll have to go and check her out I love mixed media I do and it fits so well into the junk journal uh, genre, doesn't it? Because you get to feel like an artist while you're doing like your junk journaling. 
I'm just gonna go over this whole thing. And that instantly like brings the uh, color down. I don't know if y'all could tell. Like let's look at one that we haven't really done. So you can see it kind of looks like uh, it's old and we took it out of a trunk or something like that. I'm doing good today. Thank you for asking. So if you're just coming on, we are making our own vintage postcards. So I'm going to do the back also. And I'm just really going around the edges. I'm trying not to go too heavy on it. On the edges. Y'all, I'm um, doing the vintage, the vintage photo. Well, this is the vintage photo color, but doing the distressing on the edges is kind of therapeutic. <laughs> All right. So let's do this one also. Let's do this one also. Y'all, I've been killing the eggnog. Eggnog is so good. It's so sweet, though. I really shouldn't be uh, consuming that much sugar, but I can't help myself. My mom freezes her eggnog. I know we were talking about freezing things the last time I was on. <clears throat> but I've never fro. I, I actually, I did just freeze some of the eggnog that I have. And I don't really think there's any eggs in it anymore. <laughs> I didn't look at the ingredients because, as I said, ingredients are written too small now. So it's hard to look at. Yeah, eggnog is good. It's so yummy. It's like drinking ice cream. That's what it, that's what it feels like to me. It's like I'm drinking some ice cream. <clears throat> Wait, we need a little more cutting on here. There we go. And then I'm just going to do this card and I'll show y'all the next step. Instead of me... um doing all of these so this is not a project 20 today it could be if I was on here for about like 10 hours <laughs> but because there's a few more steps that I would like to do with these cards all right let's see plus all right we already been on for a little while but that's just how it is. When you get with your friends and stuff, you just start chit-chatting and all that good stuff. And <sighs> it's a lot of fun. Okay. So we did these two cards. So like I said, you can tell the difference between the two cards, right? All right. Let's see. Oh, and my mom, I took her somewhere yesterday and she had me playing Christmas music. She had a CD. She was like, put the CD in. So we were listening to Christmas music. I was like, Mom, it's too early for Christmas music. But really, don't tell her. I enjoyed. <laughs> I enjoyed the Christmas music already. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to stamp this. Now, I have, yeah, I have this uh, postcard stamp. I think I have another postcard stamp, too. So this one is a rubber stamp. And um I did, I was able to find a link to a silicone one like this, but I couldn't find a rubber stamp, but it'll probably do the same thing. So we're going to, so we can make this postcardish like this. So that's kind of fancy. You can get the stamps that don't have all the fanciness either, but you know, I've, I've had this for a long time. I barely used it like most of my craft supplies. Cause you know, we get stuff y'all, you know what I did when I bought I needed to buy some, I knew I needed ink because the ink was okay, but it wasn't that great. And I didn't realize that they have re-inkers for the archival ink. I didn't know that, but now I know. But I bought this one and I decided to put the date on here so I could see how long these ink pads last. And just like my glasses, I didn't realize how much I needed new ink pads until I bought one. Because it's just like night and day. So I'm glad I got this. And this kind of fits 
on this kind of perfectly. I'm trying to get it straight, but you know how it is. When you're using wooden blocks, you can't see nothing. So the silicone ones, um, silicone ones will probably be better than the rubber stamps. Dun, 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 dun. Could have been better, but for this job, it's just fine. And let's do our next one. Make sure we get ink all over every sting. I didn't even make sure I had it going the right way. I'm just, I just stamped it, y'all. Got to concentrate. Dun, 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 dun. Concentrate, 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 concentrate. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Thumbs up for good stamps. Okay. So now the next thing that I want to do. Now, I could just leave these cards the way that they are. I think they're quite nice just without anything on it. But, of course, I went like a step further on this one because I didn't like the front of it. So, um, like this one, I don't know. I kind of like both of these the way that they are. Like, I really don't want to put anything on those. So, let's do a different one. <laughs> let's do this one right here. Because this one, mm, this one is not one of my favorites here with the cacti. But let's just go around the edges. Let's uh, grunge it up a little bit. I wonder how it would look if I put like black around the edge. I have black soot. I think it's an oxide though. Grunge it up here. And let's grunge up the back. Y'all, I, I, I think I talked about this before, too. I wonder, like, what rich people do, like, the, like as hobbies, like fun stuff. Like, we do crafting and stuff, which is not exactly a poor person's type of hobby, I have to say. Because I don't know about y'all, but I am spend some money on crafting. And not on purpose, because y'all know how cheap I am. <laughs> So I wonder, like, what do they do? They probably have somebody do stuff like this, and um, they do it for them while they watch. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this one I don't like so much. So uh, what could I do? I could use some washi tape like I did on this one. I did a few things on this one. And I did, like, a little bit of stamping. I did some Lazy Man stamping on here. And then I put, I put um, a cluster that I already had made and some of the words that we put together to do our little dangly thingies the other day. I still had some left. So let's see. We can use one of those again. <clears throat> and these don't have any sewing on them yet. But since I do like to have a little sewing on here, my sewing machine is way over here, but I'm gonna try to use it uh, without putting it on my desk. Cause y'all just hold tight for a second. Uh, yeah, I can't barely reach. This is very precarious. did it. I just wanted one little line of sewing in here. Turn my light out. Woo! Okay, and so I can add that on here and I do have my big uh, ephemera book here that has tons of stuff in here. Let me try to get stuff out without making everything fall out because I have some clusters that I made a long time ago that I haven't used. I'm just going to grab a couple of them out of here. 
See, this is where it's good to have like clusters already made because all you have to do is just grab them and use them. Glue them down and it's a wrap. Okay, and then let's use some washi tape too because I have tons of washi tape. And well, let's figure out which one of these clusters I want to use or where I want to put the stuff at. I don't know. I don't like this one at all. <laughs> yep, there went the whippersnapper. The whippersnapper is always at my side. And I even thought about sewing around the edges, but I was like, I don't, I'll be doing too much with that sewing machine. <laughs> i just be doing too much. So let's see. I would like to use these little pictures and stuff. But I don't know how I want to do this. This one kind of worked out good this way, but maybe if we do it some, something like that. Um, I wonder how this would look with these birds on here. I'm trying to keep the colors kind of not bright. But I do like the brightness of the colors, too. But I don't know. Let's see. There's never uh, too much sewing. Girl, don't be telling me that because you know how I am. I will, I will sew your kids if they're in the way. All right. Let's put some little boids on here. Because there was just like kind of a line with a little bit of text there. We don't care about no stinking text on this job. We got to stamp this one on the back too. Like before, before you start kind of putting stuff on the front, you want to make sure you stamp the back first or else it's going to be kind of, kind of wonky for show. So let's see. I'm trying not to get ink all over my hands, but usually the ink comes off my hands pretty easy, even off my nails, surprisingly. Even when I get paint and stuff all over my nails, it usually washes right off. I guess that's the beauty of acrylic paint. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I'm staying on the camera too. But surprisingly, with this setup, I feel like I stay, I'm staying on the camera better than normal. I don't know why. And da -da. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, back to the front. That's not that inspiring. It definitely needs color. Oh, I was going to use this one. These have sewing on them already, these little pieces. I need to do more clusters because I'm almost out of clusters. But y'all made these so long ago. <laughs> and now I'm just not using them. Okay. And then... Maybe put this on this side to cover that white line. It's kind of rustic, but that's okay. Y'all know I'll still use this. Okay, I am going to put this down with some double stick tape because there's a lot of layers going on here. And I think the double stick tape would uh, hold this down best. Put some there. Okay, I'm gonna put some on this one too. I'm gonna use a lot of tape. So I'm just filling tapey. I'm just using the skinny one because if I put another line of fat tape there, it won't fit. Mm -hmm. All right, I like using my Cricut weeder to make sure everything is uh, burnished down well. It makes it easier to take the backing off. I don't know why, but it does. All right. And 
You know, it was 80 something degrees today. I'm so looking forward to the cool weather and we get a little taste of cool weather. Then it gets back hot again. This weather is so wacky. I was gonna move that, but then it stuck down. <laughs> Cause this tape is not a joke. Once it sticks, it's a wrap for sure. Yeah, I was so tired last night when I went to bed. You know, I don't know if this happens to anybody else. Sometimes I'm like so tired and I can't go to sleep. So of course, I'm like tired out of my mind and I can't go to sleep last night. I was gonna have these overlapping, but it didn't work out that way. All right, and this is kind of crooked and I can't take it up. <laughs> it's too late, I can't take it up, dag nabbit. All right, so that's another postcard, so that's good enough. And then we have, oh, and then what I wanted to do on the back, which I did already, is I'm going to put a stamp on here. What, where are we at on time? Let me see, what time is it? Yeah. All right. Um, I have some stamps here. So I'm just going to grab one. It doesn't matter what color it is. Let's use a big stamp. Do I have a big stamp? A different size stamp? Let's use that one. And again, I'll be trying to save my stamps. I don't know why. Just need to use them. And then I'm not licking the stamp, though. You can be sure of that. <laughs> I don't even like licking envelopes. Y'all remember when we had to lick everything? Oh, okay. And I'm talking about stamps because this is a family show. Because I know. Y'all so nasty. Got to watch out for y'all nasty people. I don't know why I hang out with nasty people. <clears throat> Now, if I have an envelope, I'll just, uh, I'll put glue on it. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I have plenty of time. <laughs> no, I don't, okay, Penny? I don't have plenty of time, all right? I told you, I'm on the grind right now. Okay. Y'all, how my desk is so messed up already. Good night, Irene. All right, this is a Bow Bunny stamp set. And I tried to, I couldn't find this exact stamp set on Amazon, but I put a link to a different one that has the pieces that I'm going to be using, basically. And so I'm going to use two pieces out of here. One is just one of these circles. I don't care which one it is. And... Hey, unique. And let's see. <laughs> no licking the ice cream unless it's yours. <laughs> you got that right. I'm not even licking my kids' ice cream. And then I just find a spot and stick it on here. It looks like it looks like a for real stamp, doesn't it? And take that one off and put that back on here someplace, wherever I got it. And then you don't even need a stamp to do this, really, because you can use a marker. Let's see if I can do some squiggly line. I'm going to do a test first. I don't really need to do a test, but I have my black Sharpie pen here. And let's see, you can just do some squiggly lines like that. Maybe a skinnier one. This one's too fat. Hold on, let me find my skinny Sharpie pens. Where are you? My fine liners. They're somewhere around here. Now hold on. I moved some stuff around, so now I can't find what I'm looking for. Uh, where's my fine liners at? Somebody stole them. Y'all don't see them. For real. Let me look over here. I still have some in here. No, they're not in here either. Yo, what y'all do with my fine liners? I'm kind of baffled now. Hold on, let me look again because I might have overlooked them. Hold on. Y'all just hold tight. I haven't gone any place. Oh, they're right here. 
I knew I was overlooking them. They're right here. Y'all don't be moving my stuff around. Y'all know I'm already crazy. Okay, so let's do a test. So you just want to do like some little squiggly lines like that. And then you could do like a little circle. And you could make like a little man in there, like Washington. Let's see. <laughs> can y'all see that? Let me see if I can come in, um, bring this in some so y'all can see. Oh, wait a minute. I got a lot of stuff going on the screen. Hold on. You close. Save you. Close. And let's see if I can zoom this up. That's as close as I can get y'all without moving a camera. But I made like a little man there. So you could do that for your, um, for your stamp to make it look kind of cute. <laughs> Unique said, did I watch the Seinfeld episode where George's fiance died licking the envelope? Nope, because I am one of those people that has never seen an episode of Seinfeld. <laughs> I have never seen an episode of Seinfeld. Can y'all believe that? That's me. This has like some little stars or something on one side. Let's go this way. No, let's go that way. And then just go over the top. I think this is why I bought this stamp set because it was like postal type of thing the name of this one is called a uh, take flight stamp I don't know why because it has postal stuff you can see the postal stuff on here I don't know if y'all can see that or not that's a little bit better so it has to stamp and everything anywho so that's our stamp but like I said you don't have to have the stamp to do this <laughs> oh you bought the stamps for that too see we think alike and then now I could just write right on here if I wanted to alright so this one is kind of done so and this place is out of control alright let's do uh, this one this one I think I'm just going to leave this the way it is because it just looks beautiful I'm not going to put anything on this and I'm just gonna put a stamp back here. Let me grab one. Let's grab a stamp. Nope, no Seinfeld. I don't watch no Seinfeld, okay? And you know what else I've never seen an episode of? Friends. Never seen an episode of Friends either. And there's a reason for that. Well, kind of, but it probably is not what you think. <laughs> not what you think when I say what I'm going to say. But has there anybody else not seen any episodes of Friends? It may have been a good show, but I never watched it. So I could just leave this like this. Or I can put, do the little stamp thingy. So let's do the stamp thingy because it's kind of fun to cancel the stamp out. Oh, Unique says she didn't like Friends. I never watched Friends. Of course, I know who all the characters are because, you know, all the publicity that they had, but, uh, no. I wasn't a Friends person. Okay, and I need a circle. I don't know what's on this little circle, what it says. I don't know. It just makes it look more like a stamp, a cancel stamp. <laughs> okay, so then that's done. So I could do a whole bunch of it. Like I could do a project 20 just by just gluing this onto the, um, the index card, stamping it, putting the stamp on here, and canceling the stamp out, and then that would be done. So you could do like a quick project 20 on those that way. <clears throat> so let's see what we got here. Y'all, this place is crazy on my desk. Friends was so boring. 
I'm going to tell you at the same time that that show was going on, I was watching Living Single. <laughs> Those was my friends because friends' friends didn't have no black friends. If they did, I don't know because I didn't watch the show, but they didn't have any permanent friends' friends. But Living Single, all of them were black, so I watched the black show in that case. But I don't want y'all to think that I'm prejudiced or anything. I just, I love my people too. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all and I love my people too. So sometimes it's not nice. And I think that personally, I could relate to uh, living single better than friends. So I'm just saying. And there was no brown people. No, there was no brown people. But that wasn't why I didn't watch Seinfeld though. It just... Seinfeld just wasn't my thing. But, yep, they didn't have any brown people either. But it's okay. I ain't hating on them. It was a, a very successful show. All right, let's do these. Do some of these. What time is it? Okay, y'all. I am going to have to get off in a few minutes, though. So I'm just telling you right now. So these, I kind of like the way these look. I might put something on this one though. But I kind of like the way these look. Let's stamp these on the back real quick. Yep, that's true. It's a sign of the times, but <coughs> I like living single. And like I said, uh, the reason why I left the lines up on these is so I could write on them. Because it's kind of cool to have some writing space. Even though there's a few lines on here, it's not the same. It is not the same. All right. I wonder, do I, when I start talking about black and white things, do I lose subscribers? Because <laughs> I don't, I don't mean to be, I'm not being, you know, all crazy about it or anything. Okay. I like that. So I hope people don't take it the wrong way. Because I'm really not that kind of person, believe me. Believe me. I don't have time for that. Them shenanigans. It's all about love, peace, and hair grease over here. It's a hair grease thing. Now, this is a smaller card, so I don't know if this is going to fit on here. <laughs> Let's see if this one's going to fit. This will be a test. And plus, I can't really see what I'm doing with this rubber stamp, but... We're going to try it anyway. Let's see. Oh. Let's see if it's going to fit on this little card. I don't know. If it, it was hard for me to get it on there to line it up but it fit all right so let's put some of this stuff away that i'm not using at the moment because i'm not gonna have to go back in i'll do the edges but i'm gonna go ahead and put the stamps down stamp me or you can make some stamps you can make some faux stamps you can use those on here too if you don't have any stamps Put that stamp there. And if you have like lots of colors when it comes to stamps, you can pick some colorful stamps and put them on to match whatever pages that you're doing. But y'all know me, I'm an eclectic kind of girl and every color matches to me. <laughs> Cause I'm that kind of a girl. Like just give me some color. I wish I would have, like, collected stamps when I was little. That would have been fun, because I know they had some interesting stamps. Interesting stamps. All right. And 
One more. Oh, y'all know what I saw for the first time down here in Florida. Y'all been living in Florida for about 25 years. And y'all not going to believe me when I tell you this. But I have never seen a rabbit down here in Florida. But I saw one last night. And I was so excited. And I immediately knew what it was when I saw it. I was like, that's a rabbit. I've never seen a rabbit down here. Now, up north where I grew up at, there was rabbits. Every Sometimes we would come outside and there would just be rabbits just be everywhere. Like they, they were having a party in our yard. But here, I have not seen any rabbits. Okay, so I'm going to leave these cards the way that they are. Because I like them. And let's put this back. So y'all have to stay with me while I'm doing my cleanup too. I'm just saying. I need company for cleanup time. So let's put that up there for a second. Put everything back in my fun drawers over here. Let me put my ephemera back away as well. Got to tie it up because it's out of control. Oh, got to put the whipper sniffer back. Oh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let's put the whipper snapper back where it belongs. Put the book over here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ugh. And then put this back. Put that back. I have a drawer where I'm keeping all my inks now, so that's nice. It's kind of cool. Now I can see what kind of ink I have. All right, let's put this back. Do y'all put y'all stuff back? <laughs> clean up, clean up. Everybody, everywhere. See, I know what that's from too, Barney. Y'all can't stump me on stuff like that. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to put that back. And put that back. And thank goodness, everything I pulled out is close except for the stamps. I have to put that back later. I'm going to put the glue up. And then... I'm going to take my journal out real quick. And, all right, those go in a different spot. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so. Y'all, what did y'all do in my journal? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> It's hiding. It's hiding under my washi tapes because somebody bought some washi from me. And I was looking for the washi. Okay. So let me unt zoom this because y'all know this book is uh, very, 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 very big. Y'all have so much stuff in front of my face. Y'all can barely see me. And I look kind of cute today. I want to be seen because I look kind of cute today. Okay, anyway, enough about me. So, I thought I had more pockets than I do in here. I haven't worked in my book in a while. But I was looking for some pockets to stick stuff in, and I haven't made that many pockets yet. I think it's time for me to do some junk journaling, but I don't have time to do it today. So, I'm just putting that out there in the universe. And most of my pockets have stuff in it already. I can make this into a pocket. You know that? Let's do that now. Let's make a pocket. A quick pocket. I'm going to use some double stick tape. That will help me to do a quick pocket. And try to be on camera. I don't know if that's possible or not. So y'all, if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up before you shove off. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And So this is the beauty of this book. Which I love doing this is I make some short pages and some long pages. 
and you know just pages of different sizes because they're just kind of fun to work with so and see I'm just going back and making a pocket out of this one because that's how we roll I'm making a pocket on the fly this makes me want to play in my journal but I don't have time Y'all gonna hear me say that a lot. Okay, so now I have a pocket here. And that's kind of cool. And so, which one did I do? So now I have some postcards that I can use in my book. This one I already wrote on and nobody would be able to read this except for me unless you, you can read cursive real good. <laughs> And it says, uh, please deliver to, I put the future Elizabeth Hall, wherever she may be in the good old USA, Lovingsville, Florida, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then I could write a message over here on this side because I was just being kind of cute when I did that. So I'm going to put this postcard in this pocket and I'll come back to it. Just looks like an old postcard in there, doesn't it? And let's see if I have another place where I can put a postcard. I need to make me some pockets. What was I thinking? <laughs> I usually make pockets as I go. Y'all, look at my little babies. They're so cute. Cute little babies. Got a pocket there, but it's full. Have a pocket here. I could still put something else in there, but I don't want to do that. And then, y'all, this is one of my favorite pages that I made. I love this page. So let's put, let's put this guy in here. And I felt like that came up. So that'll live there. And maybe one more. Let me see if I can find another spot to put this in. Yeah, you have to make some because they're cool. They're good good writing spots. Because, y'all, what I do sometimes, like, I'll be on with you all, and I might do some junk journaling, and then I'll go, I'll take my book to bed with me, and I'll do writing in it later. I know that's really weird, but that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. What if I stick this in this belly band? No, I don't like that there. I don't like that there. Y'all see my book fills up the whole page. It's ridiculously big. Maybe put this over here. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's perfect. So if you're making junk journals for somebody else, these will be perfect to do. To put in a junk journal. Because they're functional. They're functional and... It just gives you like that old vintage feel. So what do you all think? Y'all gave this a thumbs up because it was a wonderful idea, right? <laughs> so I know everybody has like some black and white pages that they don't use because they don't know what to do with them. So like me. So that's what we're going to do with the black and white. And I'll probably make some more of those in the near future as well. So... I have to say, that's going to be a wrap for today. Let's tie up uh, my narrative here. Y'all have a lot of stuff to write about this election. I need to get to writing while everything is nice and fresh. So when I look at this when I'm 80 years old, I might actually write so I can understand what I'm writing. <laughs> so when I get 80 years old, I can... Uh, I can know exactly what happened at this time because I'm probably uh, going to forget because <laughs> I already forget stuff so so I hope you all are having a fantastic day y'all look at this I love this book it's so humongous <sighs> it's wonderful sometimes it sleeps with me I kick Kiana out which is my laptop and and then I'll put uh put my book in there <laughs> you have to try and look at that it's kind of cool we got a little one so I did a little card so you don't even need an index card you just need something that you just want to make it a little bit sturdy because like I said these are fully functional cards that you can mail out of course you don't want to put a old stamp on there 
and you don't want to cancel it out <laughs> if you're gonna uh, use it for actual postcard because you could definitely 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 you should try it Jan and how are you doing today Jan I didn't know you was there I just want to say hello to all the people who are looking but not saying anything it's okay with me I'm glad you're here anyway I'm glad you're here <laughs> all right you all I'm gonna go ahead and shove off because I have some other stuff some income producing stuff that I got to do because you know the baby needs some shoes and she has big feet <laughs> so I got to get going Thanks, everybody, for coming on. With that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet lotus blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>